Welcome back. So are you thinking of becoming a YouTuber? And more important than just a YouTuber is a YouTuber that's successful. We're just going to start things right off with, you know, how to get started, how to be a YouTuber, which may I say seems fairly easy because YouTube is not, ex no one is excluded mm -hmm. from having a membership or joining or what do you call it? Having an account? Yeah, having an account. <laughs> so there, there's two different kind of main ways that you can become a YouTuber. You can become a YouTuber as a hobby and that's actually where even some of the most successful YouTubers who now it's their career. That's how they started is it was just a hobby. And, and when you say a hobby, you mean a hobby posting videos on YouTube, not a hobby sitting around watching other people, right? right. I mean, this is what we're talking about is, is actually creating content and putting it on there. Right. So hobby like what? I love fishing, so I'm taking videos of myself fishing. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's lots of By hobbies By the way, I hate fishing. There. So I hate it. I don't know that I've seen too many fishing. Maybe it's because I don't it's like fishing either. <laughs> very boring to watch people fishing. But there's there's people who love doing crafts, and so they just started making videos of crafts. There's people who do woodworking in their shop, and so they'll set up a camera and do time lapses, and they do all this. Okay, so at the very least, you're starting with something that you feel like you're pretty good at, or that is, in fact, filling a need for people out there on as opposed to just random videos I mean yeah you've got a passion for something and, and your plan is I'm gonna just make videos because it'll be fun not because I ever plan on making money from it got it okay now the background that I come from is the entrepreneur side where you've got a business and so I came to the scene looking at YouTube as oh I wonder how we could use this to market the business and so we first started creating a promotional video or a commercial, but I wouldn't say if you've created a, a commercial for your company that you're now a YouTuber. Um, it's more of you're creating content because people want to watch it. You're, you're just regularly putting content out there. So when you say you're not a YouTuber because you know you're using it randomly or here and there, what then? How then do we become what we sort of? loosely define as a YouTuber because that sounds like a kind of a collection of people like a club mm -hmm. almost. A I union. would say if <laughs> if you're creating content that people want to subscribe to and come back and see more so that's all it takes I mean even if it's just a hobby let's say you, you're really good at, at basket weaving you just love it you do some underwater you do some <laughs> but uh, I thought you were gonna say basketball because that would have really hit the mark but no let's go with basket weaving. we can go okay. with basketball whatever okay true. whether you're you're just setting up a, a GoPro to film yourself playing or right. whatever or you're you're showing how to do shots or whatnot if it's something that people are going to come back and, and regularly watch then that would make you a youtuber so you know, how do you become successful? How do you become a successful YouTuber? That's, that's the fun part. That's the key. Someone needs to determine what success looks like to them in their YouTube efforts. Yeah. Right? The, the easiest way to measure success is by money. So if you're going to say, okay, I'm going to do YouTube and I'm going to make money, how are you going to make money? You know, if, if I talk to a parent and I let them know I'm a YouTube producer and they say, oh yeah, my kid wants to be a YouTuber, he watches these gaming shows, and I think, okay, that's not really what I consider a YouTuber because maybe they are they don't have a, a plan for success. They just plan on making games and they think somehow that can be their career and that they can make money from it. You can, but in order to make, we've talked about this in previous video, in order to make thousands of dollars, you've got to get millions of views yeah. or you've got to be popular enough that you get sponsored. You know, people want to sponsor you. So I look at it from, why don't we create a business first, or at least have an idea of where we're going to take this. Now, we were talking earlier about about like Studio C, and they do skits. And if, if you were to do skits, you're an actor. Right. And so that could lead into people hiring you for more <laughs> acting roles or more movie roles or, or something like that. So it's kind of, you determine... If it's, if it's going to primarily generate money based on volume visits and views alone, or part of another thing, or as a marketing tool for the business that you already have developed. Yeah. Basic. Is that what I'm understanding? Yeah, absolutely. If you're just going for the AdSense, which isn't a bad strategy, but you've got to know, okay, I've got to create videos that are going to get millions of views. Right. Or I've got to get millions of views so that sponsors will want to be on my videos. Or you can create a small channel and only get a thousand views you know when you first launch a video and, and over time it builds and so you're getting 10,000 views a day or 20,000 views a day across your channel and that's that's actually a pretty small amount but when you're considering those are 
potential customers. Well, qual- almost qualified leads, really, to some degree. Then you're, then you're making thousands of dollars every single day. So that's the key then, at least in that scenario, is figuring out what you have to offer, some sort of product or business that you've developed. Yeah. Hmm. That doesn't sound easy. <laughs> well, the, the cool thing about YouTube is there's a lot of examples out there of people that are successful. And so if you have an idea, ooh, I think I would love to do this on YouTube. It's something that I'm passionate about. I would do it even if I didn't make money, but I do have, I do have a desire or I, I do have a, a thought of, of how I might monetize this. Find somebody else who's doing it. Uh, maybe find a handful of some who are successful and some who aren't, some who are consistent, some who look like they're successful, some who get you know, lots and lots of views compared to others. And, and study those because there's a lot of examples of success. That's, that's kind of how I figure things out. It's like, ooh, I like what they're doing. So when you're doing comps like that, I mean, is there a way to be able to like research their analytics? And see, yeah, except for the fact that it says on the main page there, 2.2 million views mm-hmm. or 100,000 subscribers. Is that the limit to what you can find that's, out about them? There's, there's ways that you can go deeper. But generally, the, the data that YouTube provides, that's adequate for me for, to look at a channel. And later today, we're going to film a video where we're actually going to dive into a channel, which will be oh, fun. Oh, there you so go. So stay tuned on this channel for yeah, that yeah. video. <laughs> but, uh, you know, kind of how to analyze a channel yeah. and tell, how are they doing? What are they doing with this channel? What's their goal? You could go to Google and type in, like, YouTube analytics. And you'll get a lot of different companies that you can pay a small fee for to then dive into wow. to competitors and give you all the stats. Wow. I mean, it's, it's, it's complicated, but it's information that you, if you're serious about it, you want to have. Yeah. What do I need to get started? If I just want to, I just want to get going. Maybe I'm not ready to dive too deep. Just as a beginner, what are some kind of basic fundamental things I need? You want to start simple. Okay. So in the beginning, what you need is this right here, an iPhone. You can't use an Android. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. No, just kidding. I, I'm, I'm joking, but I, I love Apple. I almost, for a minute, I almost <laughs> believed him. I'm like, I, really? No, but I do. Yeah, I'm good. I've got, I've got that. So I'm already covered on one step. This video is sponsored by Apple. I wish. I <laughs> yeah, wish. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> um, but you just start with your iPhone. Right. Okay. But, and the, the basics are, we'll talk about this in other videos, but you want to be facing the light. So if, if there was a window right there and I filmed myself with a window behind <laughs> me, you're nice. just going to see a silhouette, right. right? So if that's a window, then I'm filming like this. Keep it steady. You want to have a, and, and for the case of this video, we've got a microphone right up here. So it's picking up because the cameras, they're far away. And the audio is just going to, it's going to pick up a lot of the sound that bounces around the room. We've got some sound foam in here. But if I'm talking this close, maybe you don't need another microphone. Mm-hmm. But if you're going to put it on a tripod, which tripods are good, then, you know, at least get a cord and stretch a, a lav mic or something. So th- that would be the basics. Right. Film with your phone because your phone's probably a better than... <laughs> if, if you go to Best Buy and you're going to buy a camera for 300 bucks, a video camera, get that, a phone that's instead. not going to be... It's, yeah. This is going to be better than that. If you're going to spend 500 800 maybe you can start to get equivalent to this. Um, it's so true. The chipset on these phones now is insane. I mean, you can see what people are doing with... In fact, there are YouTube many a thousand of them or more YouTube channels of people mm-hmm. just shooting on iPhones and the brilliant images they get is really cool. Yeah. yeah. So and they're that, just paying their monthly, you know, AT&T bill to have a camera like that. I mean, it's, it's neat. Yep. Yeah. And then the other great advantage, uh, especially this is applicable to the iPhone is you can get iMovie. I believe it's free, right? Cause I, I pay the upgrade on my, on my Mac for the Final Cut Pro. You're talking, about I, you're talking about iMovie on your phone. Yeah, I have it on mine too. I don't mm-hmm. think I paid for it, yeah. Yeah, I, I think iMovie comes for free on all Apple devices, but the reason that I say um, on the phone is it's so easy. Yeah. You could record it right here, just edit it and hit upload and it goes to YouTube. Boom. So you don't have to worry about transferring it to the computer. Yeah. That's the basics of where to start. You'll, you'll learn how to use the software. You, you'll learn the important basics of editing and um, it's better to get started and do things in, a, in an amateur way to kind of test the water, see, because people will, will be entertained by it. You'll learn that first. <laughs> yeah, they'll be entertained oh, by your, your beginner status. So basically you're talking about get a phone with an internet connection that has preferably an iPhone with a great camera in it, you know, maybe iPhone 6 or higher, um, that has iMovie, Shoot yourself. And by the way, get a YouTube account. 
and then upload it to YouTube, and you're basically off mm -hmm. and running. And that's recreational YouTube as well as an official YouTuber. Mm -hmm. And the last recommendation that I'll give is one stat that you can look up, and it's in YouTube analytics. Analytics might sound like a, you know, a yes. D-O, I'm getting yeah. into analytics. But YouTube provides you a lot of information automatically. You just click on the, the menu item that says analytics, and what you want to look for is retention rate. You want to look for retention rate. And what that means is if people are watching a video, uh, so you'll see a little graph of when people start to drop off. And if, you, if your video is going along and there's a big drop off point right here, then you can go to that exact spot in the video and see, okay, what are we doing or what did I do in that moment and drop off. So that's the thing that I want to recommend is, is look at your retention rate. If you see that your videos drop pretty quickly, people click on it and then they drop, maybe there's something that you need to do at the beginning to let, get, you know, kind of set up the stage of what this video is about and keep people, you know, hook them in. So, well, that's one of the basic rules of communication in any setting, really. Tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you told them. And so, but that first part is, here's what we're going to, and it can be fairly quick, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you saw, you saw what we did in this video. There's a, an intro, so this is what this video is going to be about. And, and now, yeah. it's over. So is that helpful? <laughs> I mean, I hope this video is helpful. If you watch this far, I'm thinking that... You if you can stomach helpful. him for that long, this was probably really helpful. No offense. Of course. <laughs> Remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.